Hi, and welcome to Unique Motor Garage. My name is Philip Tarrant, and I'm gonna be talking to you about this 2008 Maserati Quattroport GTS. It's got the 4.2 litre V8, and the 2008 model is said to be the best of the range. And the reason for that is that the earlier Maserati Quattro ports of this series from say 2004 to 2006 had what's known as the F1 gearbox, which is great when it, when it works, uh, but unfortunately it was very troublesome and they used to go through clutches and were very expensive to repair. It was also not a very smooth car for driving around town. After all, the F1 gearbox is designed for a Ferrari. Whereas in 2007 onwards, they replaced the F1 gearbox with a six speed ZF fully automatic transmission. The 4.2 litre V8 is also regarded as one of the most reliable. Uh, this particular car has done 91,000 kilometres from new. It's black in colour with beige leather interior. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. It's Australian delivered from new and does have a full Maserati service history since new. And the reason why I'm, I'm talking about that is because it's, it's, it's hard to find any car, let alone a Maserati, of this age that has been fully serviced by the dealer. Now, I'm not suggesting that you have to go to a dealer to get it serviced, but it's just nice to know that whoever's owned this car has looked after it. And the last service was only about a thousand kilometres ago. There's lots of Maserati specialists. There's one in Artaman who I use, who has already inspected the car. And it's the sort of car which could either be driven on a daily basis, you could put 20, 30, 40,000 kilometres a year on it, or if you're in that position, you could easily have it as your weekend drive. Another good thing about this car is the interior is in particularly good condition from the leather to the roof lining is all excellent. One thing which all Maseratis suffer from and you'll know this if you've owned one or even if you've driven one, they call it the sticky switches and sticky buttons issue, um, where basically all of the, all these components, all the black components of the interior are really sticky. It's, it's quite common from that age and era, but this car is actually particularly good. Even on other cars, you may look at this as worn out and gone all white, but it's just in really lovely condition. And the same goes for even this little open button can get quite grubby. Um, for a black car, as I said, it's in particularly good condition. I can't see any dense scrape scratches whatsoever. Being the GTS, it's got the, the sort of grey alloy wheels as opposed to the silver. And we've had quite a few Maserati Quattro ports and this would have to be one of the best we've had. We will start it up, as I think that's what it's all about with the Maserati. So we'll turn it on. Just go around the back. It's, it's cold. moment so I'm not going to rev it very hard I'll just give it a little squeeze they just sound absolutely fantastic when you're in the cabin you do hear it but it's quite a muffled sound it's really the sort of car you want to be standing behind it or driving behind it. Even the switches here are in particularly good condition. 
that's the time we've got the keys and the ignition. I'll show you the interior nav screens and things. Oh, sorry. Needs fuel, unfortunately. Put all the pixels on the climate control display. The radio works well. It's got a rear blind. And really all in all, it's just a particularly good example. We'll have a look in the boot. I just want to have a quick look at that logbook. I'll just show you in the rear of the car also. Again, as you can see, it's in beautiful condition. I must say, the Maserati Quattroport, I could just stand here and stare at it. It's easily one of the best, best looking four door cars on the road. Where's our books? All oh, right, here we go. So I've also, it's even got here the compressor if you get a flat tire. Now all the books look quite similar. So let's see where the service book is. Yep, here we go. Right, so if you see, look here, you can see the last service was at 89,000 kilometres. So basically, in short, was serviced at 2016, 17, 19, 21. And then we've also got 09, 10, 12, 13, 15, 16, it looks like. But the last one was only at the end of last year at 89,000 kilometres, so it has done a couple of thousand kilometres since the last service. But if you've been looking for a Maserati, this is definitely worth having a look at. If you are buying a Maserati, you do need to buy a good one. And I say that because... Uh, if you buy something like this, it's either going to be a fantastic car, you'll have it for a long time, you won't spend a lot of money on maintenance, um, or if you were to buy a cheaper one, or even one of the earlier models, you could spend big dollars keeping this car on the road. But if you do have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, my name is Philip Tarrant. We are Unique Motor Garage. We're located in Petersham. We specialise in European cars. And we'd be only too happy to help you. Our contact number is 02 9518 1884. And we certainly look forward to speaking to you soon.